Hi everybody, um, I am Final Fantasy XI today and I'm crafting and I thought uh, why don't I do a video about the crafting in this game. Um, so the basic thing you need to know about the crafting is that all you need is a crystal. So you go into your item menu in your inventory and there's my crystal. So all I need is a water crystal in this case because I'm going to be making juice. Um, for juice, I just need fruit and a water crystal. Um, I'm not going to do it right now, but this is basically where you put your ingredients. And it doesn't matter where you are in the world. Um, you don't have to be in any guild or near a table or tools or anything. Like right now, I actually am in the cooking guild and I'm going to be cooking. But that's because I'm going to be making recipes and, oh, thank you email. I'm going to be making recipes that are uh, a higher level than I am. I'm a level 25 and I'll be working on a level 30 recipe. When you do that, it's a good idea to use um, something called advanced synthesis image support. It's a mouthful. <laughs> and um, what it does is it gives you a buff and it makes sure that your synth, which is what um, crafting is called in this game because you're using crystals, um, uh, it is uh, has um, is going to happen so you don't fail all the time and use up all your ingredients for nothing. So the um, important thing to know is even when you fail sometimes you still get skill ups. Um, I, I should mention as well that the day of the week in this game has an element. Today, if you look down here, um, it is, right now it is 3.27 in the morning in Vanadil, and it is Fire's Day. You can tell because it's red. Uh, <laughs> this is my little compass here. Um, it's nothing fancy. If you use fire crystals on Fire's Day, it pretty much guarantees that you're going to have um, that you're going to succeed. You can have successful synths. Um, if you use the opposite of fire, which is water, you're going to possibly fail at more crafts or synths, but you're going to scale up faster. So, um, so you kind of have to know, you know, it, it's all logic really, which element um, oppose each other and which complements. Um, if you're using a crystal that complements an element, you'll also have a higher chance of succeeding. Um, what would complement fire? I think it would be wind. If you use wind crystal, that would be okay. If you use something that's, you know, opposite, again, like, um, it's opposite fire other than water. Ice, probably. Again, you're going to have a higher um, chance of failure, but you're going to have a higher chance of getting experience. So it's whatever you want. If you want experience, then you choose the right crystal for that. But if you want um, to have more items to sell, then you use the correct crystal. Okay, so that's about crystals and let day. I actually personally don't really care because I don't have the time to care. <laughs> I'd have to, uh, there is actually a clock um, online that you can look up if you can Google uh, Vanna clock or something like that. And it actually tells you what time of the day it is in Vanadil, and it tells you what um, element of the day it is, or actually each day is an element, um, and you know what phase of the moon it is, and for fishing and stuff like that. Everything in this game um, kind of interacts together, which is a cool thing. But on to the sim thing. Um, today I'm using water crystals just because I'm making juice. It so happens that it's fire's day, so I should actually be getting some good skill ups too. But a higher chance of failure. Which I don't care because as you can tell on the menu here, I already have quite a few juices that I made. So it's all so I push OK here and here we go. And I get this crystal animation. Big bubble. Oh, check this out. And I got a skill up. And do I get... Yes! And I got a bottle of, of not apple, pineapple juice. So that worked out really well. Oops. It doesn't allow 
allow me to uh, to do actions right away. Juices are good in this game for mana ge regeneration. Uh, mages tend to use them as well as pie. Oh, pie and juice, they like the sweet stuff, the mages. Oops. Come on, come on! This doesn't like me. Oops. There we go. Another thing I should mention is... Every ten level or so, um, you get a diff you get a new title uh, for whatever craft that you're doing. Uh, to get the title, you have to prove that you're worthy of it. So you have to see you're the guild master, and he asks you to um, uh, to make something uh, as a test. Once you have a test item, you trade it to the NPC and they give you a title. Once you achieve the rank of novice, then you can go to, um, there's a, a guild NPC person that sells you um, different items, I believe. I'm not too, I'm not sure I remember how you get to have those items or how you rack up the points to get items, but you can get, you know, a chef hat and... Um, oops. <laughs> and um, a shirt, a chef shirt, and pants, and stuff like that. And they will help you in um, crafting, obviously. Um, something. So that's basically, I want to look at this guy eventually. And you'll be able to get that outfit um, the higher in rank you go. And this is the guy actually I have to talk to to give the test items to. Right now, you um, can go into. My profile status profile going to craft. And it says cooking is at 27 and I'm an initiate. Uh, the next, I'm about to hit novice. Um, I'm actually in one level. When I hit 28, I'll be able to do my, um, my I think it's a vegetable gruel that, the gruel that I have to make. And That'll be my test item, and then I'll get rank of novice, and I'll be able to finally um, get these cool duds here. Yay! Oh, also, um, I didn't use the, the image support here, but I could have. Um, you go here, pit this guy, 90 guild, which is guild, sorry, which is not a whole lot. And it says your cooking skills went up a little, and you get this little buff here. And that pretty much um, kind of not assures, but it gives me a higher chance of success. And it's just good for um, if I'm, you know, I'm level 26 right now and I'm doing a level 30 recipe. So it's a good thing if I'm using the, the support because then you make sure that I'm getting experience and I'm getting items that I can sell. It's not a must, but uh, if you don't want to lose too much money, it's a good idea. And oh, for two points, let me go on Boom! I think I'm liking Fire's Day with water crystals. I should hit level 12 again. Level 27 here pretty soon. Talk to the little Tyru after this is done because I want to show you guys how animated the NPCs can be when you talk to them. Really cute, especially the little Tyru Tyrus. Oh, and failed. Oh, that's okay. Um, we can go first person. That gives you first person look, obviously. And let's talk to the little master here. And hi, guy, look at him. People have to eat every day, and you do not have to be a connoisseur to judge what tastes good. So the ones who provide the food for them have to keep on improving their skills, or the dinner will go elsewhere. Oh, excuse me, little Tyru. Basically, I'm for crafting. I'm not sure if I forgot anything. That's a basic overview. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye. -bye.